Today we're going to discuss a very, very important topic. Um, what was that? Um, dementia. Actually, I'm going to show you the number one vitamin deficiency that mimics dementia, okay? Because if you have this idea that you're getting dementia or someone's telling you you're getting dementia, it could be a simple vitamin deficiency, not the actual disease, dementia. And I will point this out. I've talked about it in other videos. The worst thing to do is if your spouse, friend, or family member uh, starts forgetting things, they start having confusions, or they're making all these different mistakes to remind them of that. But that's actually one way to cause them to make more and more mistakes or forget things. All right, what is the most important vitamin uh, for the brain, okay? And if you're deficient, can create all sorts of cognitive problems. Well, that would be vitamin B12. B12 is from animal products. So if you're not consuming animal products, you probably are gonna be deficient unless you take it as a supplement. Now, I will say that B12 is also made by microbes because I did an evaluation on my wheatgrass juice powder and it was kind of shocking to find out there was B12 in wheatgrass because grass doesn't make B12. It's the microbes that were in the grass that made the B12, which is interesting. So you can get B12 from certain microbes. All right, the other cause of a B12 deficiency is that you don't have enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Now that happens as we age. It can also happen if you're taking an antacid. You need strong hydrochloric acid to be able to absorb B12. So that's another little thing to be aware of. One symptom of low hydrochloric acid is acid reflux, okay? If that surprises you, you should probably watch that video that I did on that topic after you're done with this one. Now, one other cause of a B12 deficiency would be the side effect of metformin, all right? So when you take metformin, you become deficient in not just B12, but vitamin B1 as well. Now, in the studies in B12, when they gave people B12 um, with people that already had a deficiency in omega-3 fatty acids, um, B12 didn't seem to work. But when you have enough of this omega-3 fatty acid called DHA, then B12 worked very, very well. So in other words, you need the omega-3 fatty acid to allow B12 to work. So you need both of these for brain function. Another really common cause of dementia are the side effects from medications, especially antacids, bladder medications for bladder control, sleep aids, antidepressants, medication for anxiety, cholesterol medication, okay, statins, blood pressure medications, corticosteroids, and alcohol. So in other words, if you're starting to get dementia symptoms and you're on some of these medications, get that medication out and start looking at the side effects. It could be as simple as some medication that is causing you to have dementia. In fact, it's very, very common. I mean, can you imagine not really evaluating these side effects, right? And then you have dementia and you're on another medication for that, that potentially can give you another side effect that you take another medication for, I'm telling you, there are so many side effects that are then camouflaged with other medications. And there's no way to know if your symptom is coming from that unless you come off that medication. Of course, check with your doctor. There's several other really important vitamin deficiencies and a mineral deficiency that is related to dementia that you have to be aware of. Um, B1 is a very common one especially with the area of the brain that's involved with memory loss. And that would be the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the part of the brain that's involved with um, memories. Now they don't know exactly what it does, but they do know when the hippocampus shrinks and has neurodegeneration or atrophy, then you get Alzheimer's. And not just a B12 deficiency, but a B1 deficiency can actually create damage of the hippocampus. It can create the same damage as a lack of oxygen, hypoxia, okay? So B1 is very, very important. It's important as a cofactor in the metabolism of the mitochondria that generates energy for the brain. 
So without B1, the nerves cannot work and, they, and you literally starve off the fuel for the brain. And the number one cause of a B1 deficiency is consuming too much sugar or carbohydrates. You see, the more carbohydrate that you give the brain to run on, the more B1 you, you need. So the high carb diets increase the demand for B1. And so usually people don't have enough B1. And so that creates more of a deficiency. And now you're left with a situation where your hippocampus starts to suffer. It starts to uh, break down. And then you're having problems with memory, uh, locating things, uh, confusion, it's coming up with solution to problems. Zinc is another key nutrient involved with hippocampus. If you have a zinc deficiency, you'll have a tendency to develop amyloid placking in the brain, which you see in Alzheimer's. Now, how do you become zinc deficient? Probably also because you're consuming too much sugar or carbs, but also something called phytic acid. Phytic acid is in the grains, it's in the breads, it's in the pasta, it's in the crackers. So that phytic acid blocks zinc, which can then cause these symptoms right here. So zinc is an, a, another important nutrient. And then we have vitamin D, okay? If you're deficient in vitamin D, which most of the population is deficient, you can go from a mild form of dementia to a severe form of dementia a lot faster. So vitamin D slows the process of developing uh, damage in your brain. And of course, vitamin D comes from the sun. It's very difficult to get it from the food, but it's in fatty fish, dairy, it's in cod liver oil. It's also in mushrooms, but not to a large degree. So if you have signs and symptoms of dementia, this is what I would recommend, okay? I would recommend getting on a keto diet immediately, okay? The healthy version with fasting because it's out of all the things that you can do, running the, the brain on ketones would be the best thing you could do because it'll bypass the damage in the hippocampus and feed the neurons directly from a different way and actually um, help slow down this degeneration. Number two, fish, fatty fish and seafood, okay? Seafood will give you the zinc, it will also give you the omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, but also fatty fish like salmon will also give you both of those nutrients as well as vitamin D. Red meat for B12, another important thing. But if you're deficient in B12, red meat will give you all you need. Now, this other thing with the stomach, if your stomach acids are not strong enough, this is a really good remedy. It's called betaine hydrochloride. You want to take like five of these right before you have a meal. And that will slowly start building up the acid in the stomach as well as the absorption of B12. So this is a really good plan. If you're starting to get this symptom of, um, what is that? Dementia. Now, if you haven't seen my video on B12, that would be the next video to watch. I put it up right here, check it out.